Hey guys, so did you know you can use a coil of electrical copper and a magnet to create a very basic speaker? This electrical copper wire I found coiled around a component inside an old PC. And once I'd uncoiled it all, there was a good few meters worth. I then used the magnet to make a small coil with the wire and stuck it in place. As you can see, I'm doing this on top of a plastic cup in an effort to try and make the speaker just that little bit louder. But this still works even with just the coil. Using the lid of a bottle, I used the same wire to make a bigger coil around the smaller one. There we go. I also used gator clips at each end of the wire just to make it easier to connect to the jack. I then placed one clip at the very end of the audio jack and the other just behind the back end like so. I then linked up the other end of the jack to an audio source ready for testing. By placing a powerful magnet over the coil, it actually generates sound. Can you hear that? That is pretty cool. The electrical current running down the jack is being magnetized by the coil of wire in the same way as an electromagnet. And when combined with the neodymium magnet, the coil causes the air to vibrate in such a way that it creates a sound wave. I actually first found out about this when I was tinkering with one of these small electric engines. My audio jack accidentally came into contact with the engine, and because the engines contain both magnets and a coil of copper, the engine just started randomly playing music, which kind of had me a bit mesmerised at the time. So there we have it. A simple speaker. Also, if you haven't seen it already, I made this really interesting video last week of random stuff going backwards. It's actually worth a watch. So if you want to see that, click on the screen now. Other than that, I'll see you next time.